Nam yo ring a yo, nam yo ring a yo, nam yo ring a yo. Yo ho ring a yo, ho be bodani. Nam yo ho ring a yo touches the body, physical mind. We don't know where our soul is. It's in there. It's it's all a part of the mystery of our bodies. We don't know where our soul is or where it comes from or but it definitely touches the human being itself, whatever I'm made of. And those words, uh, they, yes, it touches, it works. It's, it's, a, it's a wonderful experience to have it and to hold it. And when I was introduced to this philosophy and science, I checked it first to see what? How does this work? It was it was mysterious to me as well. And after practicing, uh, keeping the Lord's Prayer on the side, and doing a few minutes of this mystic law, I found something changed inside of me. I started the load of the pressure of my life started to lift. I started to become happy, and then slowly. The thoughts came to me of what to do to change my life. And so that is what's mystical about it. It, it, it infuses something inside of you. Tina has something to do with it because it is another side of me. The real Tina is on stage, performing, singing, etc. I was born anime bullock. I was born into a Christian family, and prayer was always in my life. I put importance on it because I realized that it helps you in your struggle in life. My parents separated early, so I was kind of like a, not an orphan, but a very young girl without parents, and prayer was always there. So when I became Tina, I didn't drop the prayer because Tina helped me financially and with my career. But the background, the strength of the whole thing was the fact that I was always spiritual. I never stopped praying. I still pray. I will always pray. It's a, it's a function that we all need to find some part to do, some time in the day to give a little bit of time to yourself to help you. The motivation started in my bad times when I needed help. I started the practice, and I was motivated because the practice worked for me. And I've continued to do it because up until now, it has supported me, and motivation is when something works. So basically, that's the motivation. I believe that I will spread this word to everyone because that is a part of what Buddhism is, is to pass it on in order for people to help themselves. There's the St. Jude Children's Hospital in uh, Memphis, Tennessee. During one of my tours, I went there, and uh, there was organization being made for mothers to stay with their children that is with um, cancer and all kinds of sicknesses that you can imagine. And I was very touched by it and felt very good that I was there and to make the children a bit happy and to continue to do something about it. And so, Whatever comes in from this project goes there and a few other places, but that is the one that I support. This one is a little bit different because this is the time, the first time that people heard me actually say the words Nam Yohora Nikyo in this respect. The movie I, Tina, I was there chanting, but the sound and all of it was stronger now than then. I mean, the equipment that we had then wasn't as good as the equipment we have now. And I was very impressed when I recorded it and the sound that I got back. I was very proud to, to be a part of the project because this was time when the whole world, if the whole world hears it, and I hope the whole world will hear it, will hear a prayer that brought me this far and brought me to being a very happy person.